Hey, it is time for some show and tell. What you're looking at here is a model of the German V-2 rocket that was used in the Second World War. And what a weapon it was. Over 3,000 of these rockets were launched starting in 1944 against targets in uh, Europe. Over a thousand of them landed in London, doing a great deal of damage. And what a terrible weapon it was because it flew faster than the speed of sound so that you couldn't hear it coming. By the time that you heard the, the, uh, the boom, uh, of course, it was too late to get out of the, the way. Out of the way of what? The explosives that were in the nose cone of the rocket which was a mixture of TNT, trinitrotoluene, and ammonium nitrate. The number of people who were killed uh, by the V-2 rocket is hard to estimate, uh, probably nine to 10,000, but more were killed uh, in the production of the rockets. And those who were mostly slave laborers, uh, uh, captured Russian prisoners, Jews, etc., who were forced to work in the factories that produced the, the V2. The fuel that was used was alcohol. Where did the Germans get alcohol? From fermenting potatoes. So not only was this a terrible weapon against the enemy, it also starved people in Germany because potatoes were a big part of the diet and now they were derailed uh, for use to produce alcohol. Uh, so it was alcohol burning in the presence of liquid oxygen that propelled this vehicle up to the edge of space and came crashing down on targets. It was absolutely fearsome. At the end of the war, the German rocket scientists, uh, mostly Werner von Braun, were captured by the Americans and uh, thus began the American space program, essentially uh, based upon the V-2 and uh, it was German scientists who developed it. And the first American astronaut to be launched into space, Alan Shepard, uh, on top of the Redstone rocket, which was basically a modified version of the V2. It used liquid oxygen and uh, alcohol as fuel, but the alcohol no longer had to be uh, made by fermenting potatoes. So that V2, played a very important role in the beginning of the space program. And recently, we have been hearing some consequences of, of the so-called conquest on space with the Russians supposedly putting nuclear weapons into orbit uh, in case they want to destroy enemy satellites. Whether that's true or not is, is hard to know, but it's interesting that all of that space technology began with the German V2. And that for today is our show and tell.